Yeah, yeah. Um, took a took a break. Um, try and push in uh, for an Olympic spot. Didn't eventuate, but I think I can make a better player. Been playing in Australia uh, since March, and uh, in a strong competition over there, and uh, yeah, I've learned a lot. So I think I'm gonna come back a better player this time. Can you give you an indication that you think you have a future with the with the national team? It didn't work out for you this year. Do you feel like? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's one thing. I mean, it's, there's a lot of talented players. Around my age group is under 23 level. I just turned 20, so it's it's pushing myself against you know the top young boys in New Zealand and across the world. There's plenty of pros in that team, and I think I'm not far off the mark. So yeah, hopefully one day I'll take that uh, the national team. What's the biggest thing you learn from training with those guys? Um, just professionalism. Um, just day in, day out. Don't can't slack, can't slack off and. Just got to get 100% of your training, otherwise you're not going to see game time. How have they done in the Olympics? Um, they had one draw and two losses. Um, played some good football, um, which is not so traditional in New Zealand. They tried to play a passing game, and and uh, you know they didn't get the results they wanted. But I think it's looking good for the future for sure. Was there a time that you thought about staying over there? Um, oh, not really. I think I've got the best of both worlds over here, being able to study, as well as um, as well as play at a decent level over here. So I think I've got the best over here, and so that's what most of my pick here. What do you want to do better? What do you, where do you need to improve this year for um, this team to be successful? I think just got to hit the back of the net a few more times. It's basically it's my job, and if I do that, then everyone else does their job. Then we're going to see success this year for sure. Talk about entering the MAC conference, a new league, and um, the excitement. I don't about know much about it. Um, I heard, I mean, there's some good teams like Akron, through behind their scores is great, so that's going to be a huge fixture there. Um, that's pretty much all I know. I, I heard it's, it doesn't have the prestige that the Big East had, but hopefully we can uh, improve in those um, out of conference games at the start of the year. And, um, then just hammer home through the whole Mac season, so get a good record and put us in good stead for you know the the, the competition in the, the year. Now, have you gotten to know? Have you gotten to know that a lot of the newcomers who have, who were in this year and the you guys have a lot of fresh, big yeah, freshmen. Yeah, yeah. There's another Kiwi here and then Ryan Kane he played with me in the um, under 20 national team in New Zealand last year, yeah. so he's going to be a huge huge addition to the squad. And uh, yeah, from this morning session, a few talented boys out here, so. The best thing about this year is more competition for places. So it's just gonna everyone has to step their level up every day. Was Ryan on campus here last year? No, Ryan um, first first year here this fall. Okay. What's your comfort level like, you know, now as opposed to this time last year? Um, coming over here, I don't yeah, think you knew much it's, about it's WVU. A lot, it's a lot more comfortable um, coming to a place you're familiar with. It's not a, a world of unknowns like it was last year. And hopefully I don't get too comfortable, and just um, pick up where I left off, basically. So you're just a sophomore, but do you feel like you need to be one of the leaders? Yeah, for sure. Stuff? I mean, there's only a handful of um, old players. We brought in something like 12 freshmen, and so a huge majority of the squad is not so experienced. But I think I definitely have experience to to um, help out those younger boys and be a big player in the team. Good. Thanks, Andy. Thanks.